This poem is titled, Love Poem, a working title. <laughs> Growing up, I wanted to be a soldier. I wanted to fight for my country. I wanted to stand for something. But I learned early on that I want to wear a rank on my sleeve, rather my heart. So the country that I fight for waves a flag that is five foot four, stripes are comprised of her red lips and her flawless complexion. Her brown eyes remind me of a field of blue, and her 50 stars look a lot like the 50 butterflies that hatch from their cocoons and flutter around in my stomach whenever she looks in my direction and says, scrape your jaw up off the floor, see? She's sassy. She's sadistic. She's always had this swag in her step as if her past nips at her heels whenever she stops to catch her breath. So she does not stop. She is always moving, always headed somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. So she has a compass without a needle. She knows what north is, but she can never point you home. See, but I take her over OnStar any day. I don't want her because she is beautiful, and she is beautiful. I want her because her national anthem is the only hymn that I'm willing to sing. I helmet in the shower. My foot taps it like I have an itch, an itch that I refuse to scratch, and, and she is leaving. I'm afraid that soon she'll be gone. They're trying to tell me that what we had wasn't real, that the love that was spilled in our names died in vain, but how can that possibly be true? When I see her smile on the inside of my eyelids whenever I lay my head to rest, no. They are wrong about us. We are not the byproduct of a broken promise. We are the code that Romeo and Juliet died for. And I don't want to say that we're star-crossed lovers, but you have been my northern star for as long as men have sailed the seas. Our love is real, it's tangible, it's concrete. Our love beats 4,000 times an hour. 4,000 signatures on a declaration of independence from their definition of love. It's a declaration that I fight for. And when I was younger, I wanted to join the military, but I talked myself out of it because I already have my Purple Heart. I got it from a compass that was missing its needle because I went ahead and gave her mine in the hopes that one day she'd find her way home. But she is leaving. I'm afraid soon she'll be gone. I'm not saying I'll ever regret it. I just hope I never have a reason to. Mm -hmm. Sorry.